What is going on, guys? Wiser here coming to you with the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was a week three CWL matchup against Crummel. Uh, Crummel is an awesome clan. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, they absorbed a lot of uh, the German Titans 2.0 clan when they disbanded. Um, who in turn uh, whooped our ass uh, not too long ago. But anyhow, uh, great war nonetheless. Uh, fantastic week three match on over. Crummel comes away with the victory, 83 to 79. Just a just a great job by Crummel. Absolutely fantastic war uh, on their behalf. Unfortunately for us, uh, not really the same story. I <clears throat> see all the way down looks good. Crummel's nines came out with a fury, like 13 or, I don't know, insane number of fresh hit triples. So shout out Crummel. Really good job over there. Uh, 2.0 did. I mean, we did what we could. The nines really struggled overall. I think we had to use a, at least a handful of dips. Uh, did have a few successes. You know, used a bunch of our nines um, in turn. Uh, to get two stars on our tens, uh, just didn't really work out in our favor. Didn't really, um, you know, just kind of struggled all over. It's going to happen. Uh, bad day for the team. Nonetheless, we will be back next week. I got to kind of jump right into this, though, because it's late and I work early. But, of course, once again, I have 24 hours to get this recap in, so I got to do it now. Uh, and I didn't even write these attacks. I think Paragon Hunter is what I wanted to start with. Or Bell. Start with Bell. Is the attack? Yeah. Alright, so this six healer Veeler attack she brings. Always loving the, the Veeler option these days. What I liked about this, uh, obviously, uh, second hit drops the balloons, gets rid of that Tesla, uses that baby D, and basically the whole funnel on this side of the base gets created just with the, from the baby D and a couple balloons. Queen doesn't work over there. Takes care of that defensive queen. She's going to work through the rest of this stuff. And then Bell's going to go ahead and drop that king. All the Velks and the Bowlers and the Healers. <laughs> Everything's going to go in here. As soon as that building right there goes down, everything's going to go right on this Blizz Tower. It has two heals. Going to drop one of those right away. Poison's going to go down for that clan castle. There it goes. Poison down. Heal, heal, heal. Heal. It's going down. I know it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> right in the core. Still has that heal for the back end as well, which is really nice. All these belts working along now. Kind of kind of worked out because the queen's walking up and around this side. Valks are just going to work through all of this stuff. Really, just overall good split of the troops. That whole side of the base is clear. A couple of Valks come in and start helping reinforce that king. Go ahead and hit that king ability. Just bust on through these troops. Healer's in on the bowlers too, right? Uh, bowlers just following the Valk and uh, King Parade there. A couple wizards on the outside just doing a little reinforcement work. No big deal. Queen's going to lose her healers to that air defense. But when the only defenses remaining are these two point defense on this side and that whiz tower, this base is G. G. Nice job, Bell. Oh, the Valk's alive. Classic healer. Good job. Good recognition too. A lot of times... Um, I usually bring seven healers, but a lot of times I do opt to bring six healers. Kind of just depends on what you think your bowlers are going to do or need. In this case, she sent them in with the valves tanking. So absolutely good call on only bringing the two healers there, Bill. So what I have next here, JP, bringing hogs. Yeah, 16 hogs, eight healers. Classic stone go -ho. go -ho bow. Don't hobo, whatever. <laughs> Anyhow, getting it a couple uh, couple of minis down, getting some percentage, percentage work done. Golem goes down, takes care of the Tesla in the nine o'clock corner. Everything's gonna move in now, sort of between this nine and 12 location. Queen in the middle. Let's go ahead and open up that wall. <clears throat> Golem's doing just perfect tanking on all sides of the base here. In comes the king, in comes the bowlers, jump spell, perfect placement. Bombs get triggered. Bowlers jump in. Raid spell goes down. Queen works through that hound that comes out of the clan castle. No problem. Everything's going to move on in. Pups are now dead. Still has bowlers in there doing work. Queen's going to hit that ability. Oh, no. Actually, I remember he saves the ability here. Just 
absolutely perfect. Hogs are reinforcing now from the six o'clock spot. Move up and around. There's only a couple of defenses to go, and just so many units left. Those two hogs, two wizards in the bag. Clean up all over the place. A lot of high hit point structures down here, but absolutely no problem whatsoever. Wizards down there doing their thing. Tree stars in the bag for my man JP. Nice job, buddy. There's PH's hit that I wanted to show. Check this army comp. <laughs> 11 dragons. Oh, what's up? Love it. Little Zapquake goes down. Takes care of one of those, or sorry, double Zapquake for two air defense. Going to go ahead and drop that king. Just sort of suicide the heroes in it. This air defense number three. And hopefully kind of get the queen in the process. A couple drags start going down nice and early. That would be my main concern uh, with this attack, assuming all your other planning is in line. Uh, about time because dragons are very very slow queen stepping in air defense number three is now taken care of really there's only this defensive queen and this air defense up here that pose any sort of little threat to the drags but the queen's actually going to almost help out because they're going to suck the drags in in comes this hound as well perfect timing on that the drag that comes out of the cc locks onto it air defense locks onto it has this huge clump of dragons just now working in through the core of this base <clears throat> so down goes all that stuff Personally, has no race spell, but it doesn't matter. It has, you know, at least I'd say nine dragons in it. It's probably lost one by now. There's one on the outside, brought 11. <clears throat> Working through the core of the base, really not much with this grounded expo, just not having anything to do with this raid whatsoever. Down it goes. Everything's just going to sort of work on through. I'm going to times two this. These dragons are so slow. Really, my main concern would be this troll Tesla in the corner. Even if the drag missed that builder shot on the way. Fortunately, that is not the case for PH here, and the dragon's just gonna work on through the rest of this trash, take out the cannon, take out all the rest of this jazz. And knock down a tree. Nice job, buddy. <laughs> Look at that army cop. Love it. Um I uh, think a couple more here. Valia, show down. We're in the 22 loons here in this raid. Oop. Zapquake goes down, takes care of that air defense. Going to go ahead and drop a wizard, get some trash buildings in, uh, taken care of here. Nice sort of free range for the wizards to do a little bit of work on the trash on the outside here. Get that out early. Queen goes down, king goes down, get the suicide heroes in. The idea here now is wants to work the king in to protect the queen. So the queen can work on this trash and then eventually take care of this defensive queen, which actually works out perfectly. This poison spell goes down. Queen's working through the whiz tower. The step up. Ooh, defensive queen locks on. Hits that ability. Perfect timing. Down goes the defensive queen. See you later. King's done a huge funneling work on uh, all the way up and around the 9 o'clock section. Then come the first couple of hounds. <clears throat> Loon sort of trickling in on that expo. Rick recognizes he loses a couple. He's going to need to get one more in there, I believe, to finish off the expo. Just be very conservative on Loon. Still has 13 in the bag. Just going to start trickling them in around in this sort of counterclockwise rotation. Hound number three is in. Balloons just backing everything up. Down goes the hay spell. Rage spell just working these loons right into that expo. Just really good, meticulous placement in all his troops here. <clears throat> a few loons on all these outer defenses. Fourth hound in on that last air defense. Just got to work these loons in and around. Still has five minis and one more balloon for cleanup. So beautiful job, buddy. Val just absolutely smashing it with these air raids these days. Not these days, but always. <laughs> Look at that. Pops everywhere. Just loons everywhere. I don't know how many troops he lost, but not many. Just smashed it. All right, I think I got one more here in the show. Was it 16? Check this army comp. 31 minions with four healers. Loving it. Drops that loon, triggers that Tesla. Loon in behind. Fortunately, it's not going to make it, but who cares? Got that one building now. I think that's really all he could hope for. 
gets that funneling work done at the 10 o'clock location, and then in goes that queen, four healers behind. She's going to walk in and take care of this whole section up top. Lures out that clan castle. It's going to work its way over to that queen as well. Earthquake goes down. She's going to charge right in, basically get three air defense out of the out of the deal. So that leaves this uh, this one lava hound. What's he got? A CC? Maybe he's got a two lava hounds actually. Uh, but twenty nine minions with eight balloons here, backing things up. It's just awesome how this raid works out. Queen's going to charge on in. King's going to just jump in and help out as well. Doing their thing. And here come the minions, just sprinkling them in now at first, just sort of getting these percentage points all on the outside. And then just going to flood them in here with these hounds and balloons. <clears throat> so down goes air defense number three. Queen's working in here. Minions doing their thing. And in a moment, you're going to see this first hound go in. It's going to basically cut across all of this stuff and just send balloons in to help the minions take care of these defenses very, very, very quickly. Here it comes, there's the hound, two balloons are in, two more balloons are in, sprinkling them in, and boom, let's just go ahead and drop 20 more minions on the outside here. Another couple of balloons sprinkling in on the defenses. They go down very, very quickly. Yeah, it is a second hound that is, is correct, max hound in there. Gets the first hound to burst, max hound's going to be able to do a lot of tanking for all of these minions, these balloons, working through the rage now. <laughs> like, look, defensive queen just doesn't even know what to do. Like, I'm not used to this. <laughs> Get 30 minions, she dies instantly, the minions are raged as well. <laughs> just nice freaking job, Kim. Absolutely crushed it. Blam! Tree in the bag. All right, great freaking work, Cromwell. Just absolutely uh, fantastic job by you guys over there. Um, you know, all across the board, just beautiful work. Uh, 2.0, let's bounce back next week. Uh, let's, uh, you know, we're coming right back at this and going to do our thing and hopefully come away with the victory next time. But I'm going to call it a night. I'm already tired. I got to work early. Uh, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser to try and help it back that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.